Hey there, it's Fabienne, and today we're going to talk about vulnerability. When I was younger, when I was in high school and college, I remember being teased a lot for wearing my heart on my sleeve. And friends of mine would say, why do you have to be so sensitive? And why do you need to share so much? And are you just trying to get attention? And um, I, 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 was, I felt bad about myself. I felt that um, doing the opposite of that would be not being true to myself. And I tried that. I tried to hold things back and, and, um, and not share what I really <laughs> felt at the time. But I felt like that was going against the grain. And it was good that I left those toxic people behind because they made me um, really question who I was in life. And I look back now with everything that's happened to my career and where I'm going, um, I needed to be sensitive. I need to be vulnerable. I need to wear my, my heart on my sleeve. And that's actually what's made me so successful. And sometimes I find myself on a stage or talking to a group of people and really being super vulnerable about my life and some things that haven't gone well. I, sh I share my warts and everything uh, with the intention that by being vulnerable myself, I break down the walls in a group of people. I have them break down their walls so that they can be vulnerable with themselves. I, I put myself on the line, really pushing the vulnerability line so that people can become vulnerable. And this is one of the ways that I create uh, these amazing tribes of people who fall in love with each other. This is what we do in our program. It's just uh, all of our members just absolutely adore each other. It's because they get so vulnerable. And so often I get a question how vulnerable should you get? How vulnerable is too vulnerable? And different people will give you different answers, but I found my answer. And it's in the book Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. And on page 197, uh, Neil Gaiman uh, says the following, and it just really hit right, right hit me in the heart, and I hope it will too for you. Here's what he said. The moment that you feel that, just possibly, you're walking down the street naked, exposing too much of your heart and your mind and what exists on the inside, showing too much of yourself, that's the moment you may be starting to get it right. <laughs> Not everybody feels this way, but I can tell you the reason that 99% of the people who work with me say they work with me is they say, Fabienne, you're the real deal. Fabienne, you're so authentic. Fabienne, you're so real. You're so vulnerable. And they say, you know, they say, oh, this is this, you know, I'm meeting you in person and you're exactly the way you are on all the videos, just vulnerable, authentic, the real deal. And I want to ask you this, is there a part of you in your life and in your work that is holding your cards too close to your heart just for fear of exposing yourself too much. What would happen if you allowed yourself to be just a little bit more vulnerable in your everyday dealings? This is what happened when uh, I had been single for a very long time and when I met my, my husband, I, uh, I just opened up my rib cage and I, I showed him my heart. <laughs> And, uh, and he could have fled, <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> and I was vulnerable. And it's the same thing with my clients. It's the same thing when I'm speaking from a stage. When, when, I, when I wrote my book, Embrace Your Magnificence, even when I wrote the book, uh, The Leveraged Business, uh, lots of vulnerability in there. And that's, I believe, what makes certain people very successful. So this is my inspiration for you for today, is look at how... You could wear your heart on your sleeve just a little bit more than you are now. How can you open up your heart and be more vulnerable? What would happen in your life if you did? That's my invitation. Something to think about. Sending you lots of love. See you next time. Bye.